All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the video game. Um, this is Omero 2582 playing Fiora. Back at it again, and the one one of the most important games I feel like I played. And you should, as Fiora, you want to be pushing level one two early on, uh, because you're able to hit the vitals without taking minion aggro or you will take minion aggro but it will be small minion aggro because your wave will be pushing but okay so basically what I messed up here is I didn't look at how fast my wave was pushing and you can look at your own wave for this when it's coming up because it's a mirror lane you'll know that the enemy minion wave has to be at this exact same spot but basically I wasn't auto attacking the minions fast enough and I leave my wave in a really vulnerable position for me. Usually here you have to go ward. And so I make the mistake of going for that trade W. I win that but Rek'Sai's there. And I Q trying to get the the vital onto Rek'Sai. And that just messes me up really hard. So I definitely win the trade without Rek'Sai. But then unfortunately we have Makai is obviously weaker than Rek'Sai early on. So this happens. And I actually, I should look, I don't know, I have no idea, I tp down here, and uh, <laughs> I actually don't know what the cooldown of the tunnel is, it's his E, right? Let me see, I've actually, I trolled so hard here, I don't know what the cool is this? Yeah, this is the tunnel, so it was actually on cooldown this entire time. Um, but I ran down this way. Because I thought, like, if I ran down this way, he might tunnel, and so we meet at this spot. But definitely a misplay for my part, because his tunnel wasn't up. And so... <laughs> well, this is just even more unfortunate. This is... We're actually going to give another... Re okay, so... I come this way. I'm going to ward here, right? And he just tunnels. And I miss my parry. I basically parry nothing. Don't even get a vital. Auto attack and then I'm just dead. At this point I just decide I'm gonna mute everyone on my team. So I just hit tab and mute everyone on my team. Pretty sure I mute pinks as well. I'm just like okay I'm gonna focus on this game. I need to bring it back. I'm really far behind but I know that I'm better than like these guys. I know I can win the game but uh, yeah Rek'Sai doing that 3 cap route was He misses his E, which means I win this trade no matter what. I have to parry that last... Um, that last spell. And actually... <laughs> my team probably thought the game was GG here. I don't actually know what... I mean, he got a triple kill. That's really bad. It is... Okay, basically, I can still fight him. Is what I mean to say here. As long as I hit my vitals. Okay, JK, I'm trolling. Wait, no, yes, I'm not trolling. I, I do kill him here. He flashes like max range here, which um, you'll see people do very well. If you, like, he didn't flash too far in, is what I mean to say. He actually died to the minion aggro. So I go for the combat stats here. Usually for Fiora, you want Tiamat as early as possible. Oh. I don't know if I died in this. I don't die to this. So see, like, <laughs> I just had a feeling like my opponents. Or I just at this point I just have a feeling like I could totally play better than my opponents. And obviously they messed up here. Obviously Rexai messed up, but um, but they couldn't have killed me in that gank. I played it really well with my parry and hitting the vital. Maybe Jace. I haven't played versus Jace as Fiora in a long time. And this was. I learned this interaction in this game. Um, like right there. I didn't know. I wasn't sure if I could do it. You know? But yeah, I learned that interaction with the parry here in this game. Uh, and so that felt hype as well because I actually didn't know that I could I W the Q there the second Q 
And oh, I was so sad right here. Because I actually had Tiamat up here. I don't know if it came up or... Is this the cooldown? Oh, okay, yeah. But I should have been spamming the Tiamat. Like, the Tiamat, I'm pretty sure, came up at the end here. Oh, no, it actually didn't come up. Wow. I just remember dying there and being like, I should have been spamming Tiamat, but I see that it was down. Sometimes you want to save auto attack timers so that you can have your auto attack up by the time the vital comes up. Basically, I, I, if I want to, I want to avoid Camille's second Q because she can Q twice like that. Oh, wait, was this the one where Tiamat? No, Tiamat was definitely up there. Let me see that. Let me watch that again. Why did I W there? Or why did I R? I don't remember. I just felt like it was a good spot. Let's see. Oh, I think it's because he... Is it because he just queued? No, he queues back up there. I don't know, but he definitely messed up his E. Then I flash. I missed the vital here. Yeah, that was the misplay there. That like last vital that I couldn't hit at that auto attack, I just didn't have like the angle was almost there, but I just needed to move up a bit farther to hit it. So that was unlucky. That was really unlucky. Well, it wasn't unlucky. It was unskill. It was me playing badly. Oh yeah, I walk here and like I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna ward this like because that's why I'm walking close. I W the Rex I think, and I hit two vitals, but he has ulti. Try to auto attack the last. That's why I walked right here, but I couldn't actually auto attack. Oh, so obviously like the Thresh is just roaming because they're super far ahead everywhere on the map. Rex is super far ahead, but I still feel like like you see that duel where he had to commit ultimate, and I almost survived because I hit every vital. I feel like I can definitely keep fighting if, you know, it keeps going like that. And... Yeah, so you see our team, or you see the enemy team making a lot of mistakes here. I cancelled my TP. Wasn't sure if they had people here, I think. Um, and so now I just switch since my whole team is top. I don't want to go top, I want to go bottom. So everyone can get as much farm as possible. They just stay top here to get the farm and I switch bot. And we can start the split push. I'm just thinking about my items here. Think about how much gold I need to finish Ravenous Hydra, and then into Triforce. I know I once I I know once I get those two items, I'll be able to beat anyone without worry. Make sure to W. As you can see, hit the last vital there before the ultimate. And as you can see, Rexai. Um, as you can see, I just I have a lot of confidence in these fights. Um, so I just keep uh, going for them, or I keep um, challenging these fights, basically, or inviting them, or whatever. Also, I have double buffs, but yeah. So I pick up Phage here. Oh, takes two turret shots, and I have double buffs. I really want to fight him on this point. Um, I bought Phage because I couldn't complete my Hydra. Ceasus is done again. Dodge the thing. W it. He gets attack speed slow. Auto. Q for vital. We see Rise. Yeah, so like... Oh, it's unlucky. As Fiora, you always wanna... W... Just for the attack speed slow a lot of times. It's not about the CC protection. I went in as soon as he unborrowed. So right here, you see how I hit him with attack speed slow? I'm not necessarily looking to W his CC. If I can, I just want to W whenever he uses his bite. Um, so that it cancels out both a really high damaging ability. 
and so that I get the attack speed. So a lot of Fira matchups, she just wins if you know that you need to use your W proactively. Matchups like uh, Trindlemere and I don't know, a lot of the attack speed ones, I'd say like Trindlemere, Jace. I almost messed up at the end there by queuing early at the end. Oh, so I see a fight here. Trying to TP. But it looks like it might be too late. When we're able to get Rice here. So it's fine. <laughs> I had my W there, but... I don't know. I think I thought I wouldn't make it in time or something. This is just a really awkward fight for me. If I go too hard for Caitlyn here, I'll never get her. Pretty sure I still have my team muted. Actually, no, I think at this point I unmuted pinks at some point, like once I started doing good. Pretty sure I unmuted pings, but still muted the... Still left the voice chat, or the text chat muted. You need to play as a team. Um, I need to have like you need to have communication in terms of strategy. You know, you need to know whether your teammates want to go for a play or not because their cooldowns may be down. You know, they might not have uh, sums or items, so they just want to back. So in these fights, I just wanna, I just wanna ulti the closest person that I can. The closest person, or the person that's closest to me, and that I can proc the vitals the fastest, <clears throat> is the one that I wanna ulti. Cause I can, especially with the Triforce build, you can. Um, I want to be careful here, I don't have mana. If I had mana, I would have gone for that. But, um... Yeah, especially with Triforce build, you can proc the vitals really fast. And this is super close, but yeah. Cassiopeia Q gives her attack speed. Or sorry, not attack speed. Uh, movement speed. And this is really important here, because Fire, Dra Fire Dragon just came up. So like it's super important that we at least keep them here so that we can clean up. And so Cassiopeia manages to survive. Very well played. And we're able to fight here for this dragon. Just the fact that they stayed here was enough for us to win this fire drink. Because we could definitely just clean up afterwards. But yeah, Cassiopeia played really well. So Rek'Sai just actually trolls here. Inst I instantly ulti anyone I see. Because we have to secure these kills. And some games are weird like this, you know that... Oh, actually, Maka just trolled too. And so did Sona, wait a sec. Yeah, they, okay, they both trolled, so like, we have to back off here. But, um, Rek'Sai just, like, tunneled, so obviously he has, like, no escape, but... In case he has Flash, I have to ulti him. And we're still around, so we're able to fight. But their Baron play, if you look at it, it was delayed by a lot. Because um, they got Baron, then we got the catch on to Rek'Sai, then we forced this fight, and then we baited them. Or we didn't bait them, but we stalled them long enough. Or Cassiopeia stalled them long enough for Fire Drake. So this entire time, they haven't been able to use Baron. And it's basically because Caitlyn and Thresh, they either had to get the kill into Cassiopeia fast, or they had to just base. Either one was fine. If they base, they could have definitely contested the dragon, but they didn't base because they thought they could get the kill. 
But some games are weird like this where you group with your team a lot, even though you'll note that we have both split pushing champions. We have our TPs up for a lot for a big portion of the game. Um and I'm just waiting here. I know I can push one more at least until we regroup. Cause we can like clear this wave and stuff. And then I will Then I woke up here. I had TP but they got a really good catch, so I didn't actually need to TP early. Um, but a lot of games are weird like this, where you just kind of have to group on a split pusher. Um, because that first catch is really important. And so you have to be there. You don't have time to TP. And uh, <laughs> I guess, I mean, Ryze messed up here in two ways. He didn't press R before the Hourglass, because he can R Hourglass and he'll go through the ultimate. I think that's where he messed up, um, but also he just like walked in like up all the way up here. Um, and they're actually like all making the mistake of walking way too close to Maokai, disrespecting Maokai, who just walks up in W's. But yeah, I want to be grouped here, I definitely don't want to be splitting. And yeah, Camille TP's here. I missed my vital. This is really bad because I don't get the cooldown reset. Auto Q. Proc vital. Another W. So it's really good that like Maga is able to find these catches. I commit the flash through because I know Baron's coming up soon and I feel like we can set it up. I also feel like I feel like we're really close to ending the game, you know? So that's why I commit with the uh, flash. And uh, I think here we just base. Baron's coming up. Uh, that sense just, it just scales really well. You know, like as you buy it later on in the game, it becomes really good. And uh, that was close, but my team manages. We'll have a replay for this because we had to see it. So they just bait the bear. A lot of times I just want to do. just want to bait the bear. Wait, Rise? There's no way. Rise messed up his ulti again. He didn't ulti uh, Hourglass. Uh, I'm not sure actually if it's because he was rooted or because Cassiopeia W'd or if he just didn't press the ultimate. But yeah, we're just we're just pinging super hard here for the end game. We see the death timers, we don't need Baron. Uh we obviously don't know that they disconnect. But um yeah, I was really happy at the end here. <laughs> I, uh, I messed up here in that fight against uh, Rek'Sai. I didn't proc the vitals fast enough. Like I missed one or two autos where I just like staggered them or I cancelled them or something. I know he knocked me up but I still should have been able to get at least two procs early on. And I also W'd Camille instead of Rek'Sai. Um, but yeah, if I if I just like W'd fast enough, that would have been sick. Woo! So we win our master promos. This was the fifth game for our master promos. And I was really happy obviously at the end. I unmuted everyone. And then I hit continue and then I went to the post game chat and I said thank you everyone. <laughs> Good job everyone. Um, and yeah, I, it was everyone was happy though because I don't know, the, the surrender votes did come out early on. But um, but yeah, I'm happy my team didn't surrender. At one point, it was like the surrender votes were like three to zero after 20 minutes, and I just voted no. And I was just hoping that last person didn't vote. And I still had chat muted, so I had no idea what they were saying. But yeah, this was my last game for a massive promos. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. So thank you for watching. Hope this gave you some insight into how 
you can continue fighting in a game that goes downhill early on and you still win them even though the opponents are really strong a lot of times they'll just mess up because they don't know how to close out or they're too overconfident or because they don't fight well enough which I feel like both Rex and Camille messed up really hard there in both those things actually I think I mentioned three things but like they I was a I felt like I was fighting better than them mechanically and I felt like they were not playing well enough strategically and because I saw those two things I felt like I could definitely fight and come back but yeah make sure you're focused when you go to your games and uh, thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe and tell me what you think thank you